Hello, this is Raphael with Discount Copiers. Today I'm going to go over some of the features that are available on the touch screen of our multifunction printers. A uh, typical multifunction printer looks something similar to this and has a color touch screen. Through the remote operator panel that's available on the machine, I can actually remote into your office and do a training on how the machine works and um, how to use the touch screen. So to make a copy, you can either press the green button on the panel or you can press copy. This will give you the option of duplexing if you have that feature enabled. Um, zoom, lighter and darker. You can change from text to text and photo. Uh, there's some other options that are available on this. You can do edge erase. So if you ever have something, say, uh, fax, and it has the, re the recipient's phone number and name on it, you can do that and take off you know, a quarter of an inch off the top and it'll erase it for you, clean up the document. Um, you can do a margin shift. If you, need, you need to create a margin because you're going to hole punch something or put it into a flip chart. You can tell it at the top or at the bottom, you know, remove whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. There are some overlay features. So if you'd like to have it say confidential or urgent or as a sort of a watermark across the back, you can just do that. Or you can type in a custom message that'll show up here and go uh, on the document as well. Okay, I'm gonna go back into the home page. Um, email, you can press email and you can type an email address. There's an at button, shift key, dot com button as well. Or if you've programmed them into your multifunction printer for frequent use, you simply press email shortcuts, choose the people that you would like to send a document to, and hit continue. Um, actually, let me show you this. On the email shortcuts, let's say I'm going to send something to Teresa, and I press continue. I place, I place the documents in the document feeder and I press email. That's it. There's nothing else that you have to do. It'll scan it into Teresa's email as a PDF. She can then do whatever she'd like to do with it. Um, but there are some options. Uh, this particular model that I'm using is a black and white copier but it does have color scanning. So if you'd like to send the email in color you simply click on this. You can change it from a PDF to a TIFF to whatever format you want. You can change the DPI, you can add a message, you can have a default subject, or you can type one, you can do double-sided. All the features that you have on the copier you can also use on the, on the scan the email. ID cards is a downloadable option. It's free. And what that does is it allows you to put a ID card on the document feeder put whatever settings you want and then hit scan and then turn it over or put a second document on and it will give you um, it will give you the same or, or two the two copies on one sheet of paper and then scan to network allows you to scan to a file folder on your network you just map the address for the folder and uh, scan everything into that folder as a PDF. Just choose the folder. It's really easy. If you ever have a question or get lost, you can press the question mark. It will bring up frequently asked questions. If you're ever curious about the supplies in, a mach in the machine while standing in front of it, you can press device, excuse me, view supplies and it'll show you how much toner, what the maintenance kit is. If this were a color multifunction, it would have all the different colors and, and, uh, and drums. That concludes my touchscreen demonstration. Oh, one other feature is you can add a customized background. It's really easy. You do that through the interface though, and then you can have your company logo or um, or whatever you, it is that you would like on the background of the copier when people walk up to it. Thank you very much.